My name is Sophia, and for my personal projects, I created and completed a lifestyle project, previously called the Six Week Health Challenge. My research was extensive and covered the aspects of well-being and maintaining a balanced lifestyle. This included mental health, managing stress levels, thinking patterns, motivation and optimism, as well as physical health, the importance of exercise on a spectrum of fitness, nutrition and diet, and small changes that can make a big difference. The capabilities I addressed included communication, mainly public speaking and confidence, learning, constantly searching for in-depth and useful material, and personal development by adapting these changes into my everyday life. As a whole, this topic is relatively new to me, and this project was a highly informative and intriguing learning experience. This process was heavily documented electronically through numerous Word documents. I also took photos and videos to document my experiences. I used my own camera to take the photos and videos, and the school's Mac to edit my final video compilation. I previously had only basic knowledge about living a healthy lifestyle. I learned a lot about diet, fitness, and the importance of variety and balance in life. I found myself really wanting to incorporate these changes into my life and observe the difference they make. I noticed I would take things I previously hadn't noticed into consideration. For example, I researched the importance of a variety of vitamins, their benefits, and how to integrate them into my diet. I started to make sure I was consuming more vitamin A and C as, after extensive research, I noticed I lacked many of vitamin-packed foods in my diet. This is only one example of the numerous changes I've made, as the range of interesting things I learned is too broad to name everything. I was initially going to start this project straight after the Year 10 ski trip. At this point, however, I was still tossing up if this was the idea I wanted to pursue. After a few extra weeks of deciding and researching, I concluded that this project would not only be beneficial for me, but a great learning experience and an opportunity to try something new. I was relatively set back because of all of this indecisiveness, which left me at a slight disadvantage. The biggest problem I encountered was that all the initial videos I recorded on my camera were filmed in a format that was incompatible with any editing software. These files, called AVCHD, would simply not play on any computer. This meant I had to film everything again in MP4. Unfortunately, as I only realised this two weeks before the due date, I didn't have time to film everything I completed previously again. I lost a lot of footage that could have made a valuable contribution to my project. At least from this experience, I know to check what format my camera is filming in before I begin to record. For the final product, I used snippets of photos and videos I found on the internet as fillers. When I began editing, I noticed that it is a very detailed process and takes up a lot of time. I ended up spending every personal project lesson, program X lesson, and lunchtime in the media studies wing to complete my editing. My research was primarily internet-based. I visited hundreds of websites and copied their URLs so I could refer back to the site when needed. I found a lot of helpful YouTube videos with interesting information. I particularly liked this type of research as each YouTuber talked not only about the information perspective of the topic, but shared their own personal experiences. My strengths were that I was very enthusiastic to learn about this topic. Despite hesitation at the beginning of the subject, I was excited to investigate further and get to do hands-on learning. My weaknesses were that I found myself getting stressed especially at times when I lacked motivation. I'm also quite indecisive and changed aspects of my project multiple times. My learning style in this case was very hands-on. I loved being able to make these changes and complete the activities, as well as see for myself what I felt and the effects they had on me. I applied the communication capability by talking to my friends to hear their opinions on different health changes. I spent plenty of time with Mail, a personal project classmate, who helped me out immensely and taught me the fundamentals of video editing when I had no clue. I learned a lot from him and the time spent together was productive and a valuable learning experience. The presentation activities throughout personal pro projects 
also improved my public speaking skills and confidence levels. The learning capability was definitely prevalent as this whole project was a broad learning experience. By researching various aspects of a healthy lifestyle and trying out things for myself, I learned a lot about what works for me and the effect it has on my well-being. I also learned a lot about video editing. Personal development was also a big part of my project as each activity I participated in benefited me mentally and physically. The best part was that I got to see and feel the difference for myself. Overall, I really enjoyed completing this project. I tried many new things and loved seeing how these changes improved aspects of my lifestyle. I really loved filming my experiences as well as learning a tremendous amount of new information and gaining video editing skills. I checked my progress at the end of this project by simply seeing how I felt afterwards and noticing changes. I found that in the mornings, I was more awake and energized. Eating more fresh foods improved my digestion and drinking water made me feel fuller. The physical activities improved my flexibility, I can now touch my toes more easily, and helped my heart rate slow down quicker after exercising. Each small change I made made a big difference, and I believe the impact they will make will have more long-term benefits. I'm so glad I chose to do this project and had a fantastic time, as well as a thoroughly educational experience.